So I'm making macarons. These ones have to rest for 30 minutes. And then I have some over here that are already cooked. So guys, if you know anything about macarons, you know how temperamental they are. It's quite difficult to get these little tiny feet and have them cooked well. And then when those come out, you have to also whip up a ganache and you have to leave them in the fridge for two days and you can't eat them. It seems annoying, but they develop the perfect texture after that amount of days in the fridge. So yeah, these are quite the cookie to make, but honestly, with my instructions on my blog post, you will be able to make these macarons. If you guys wanna make these, I'm gonna link my video and of course, written blog post in the description down below. And there you go. So they're filled, these are the Earl Grey ones, and these are the coconut ones. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki just explained to his mom what an Aperol spritz is, our favorite drinks. I have to show you guys how I make one because they're seriously are my favorite drinks. If you saw my Italy vlogs, you would have seen us make Aperols. He's talking to his mom because today is Mother's Day in Canada anyway. So we're going to go visit the moms today. I'm going to go visit my mom and his mom. And we have a little something for them both for Mother's Day, of course. We love our moms, but since we have to social distance, it's been so hard lately. So for the first time in a long time, I got ready and we're going to do a social distance visit with the mom. So just to drop off a few things and see them. It'll be sad not to hug them, but one day we'll meet again. <laughs> so my mom is going to visit her mother today. So we are going to definitely be social distancing there. Pretty much just a drive by because I don't want to see my grandmother. She's definitely more vulnerable. So keep that in mind, guys, when you're visiting the older folks. And I saw a lot of you guys were making my chocolate covered strawberries, which was a Valentine's recipe that I filmed like two years ago. A lot of you are making it for Mother's Day, which is such a good idea and that would be such a pretty gift. I wonder if I should soon, one of these days, refilm the chocolate covered strawberry video because I feel like that was one of the first videos I ever did. And I'm just talking really fast and I look a little bit nervous in it and the lighting is not so good, the audio is not the greatest. So I'm wondering if maybe one day I should refilm that. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. We are leaving. This is the first time that I'm actually dressed in a very long time. So this is a quick little OOTD. Wearing the same jacket. Ah, twins, love you. Love you too, baby. Happy Mother's Day! Drive up and then I'll film John and Dan. Okay. Let me look awesome. You're so cute! Come and stop with that! Hi, Nana! My yeah, Nana and my mom. Aw, oh, this is the strangest Mother's Day ever, eh? Hello. Oh, we love you! Yeah. Happy Hello. Mother's Day, Mom! Hello. Strange. So different, different Mother's Day. This very day. different Mother's Day this year when normally we'd all be together, happy, hugging, you know. Now it's just like this weird social distance thing. <laughs> kind of sad. But at least we do get to see them, so we're fortunate for that. There's clearly people who are in worse circumstances than us, so we should be grateful. Right? Exactly. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Aww. Here. No. Get everything individual. Who no, no, came to visit? Tina. Oh, look at him. That he misses you. Tina. <laughs> oh, look how cute. <laughs> He's happy to see hey. <laughs> Her paw has lipstick on it. Yes, we used to have baby Summer, now we have baby Luna. I'm a doggy mom, second doggy mom, right? You're, you're number two. You're the middle one, like me. <laughs> So happy Mother's Day to anyone who's a mother or even a little fur mother because there are a lot of work to these little munchkins, right? <laughs> You're so precious. You're so precious. You're so precious. Oh. So guys, we were just saying that this was a little anticlimactic. It was right? kind of sad. Oh, I was so sad not to be able to spend actual time with the mothers, you know? Yeah. Like, it's one thing to like, visit. You can't hug them. them. I mean, we're lucky that we could see them. Like, definitely, we That's know what we're I lucky. Was saying, yeah. But yeah, you can't hug them. It was so quick, and it's like normally you'd see them, have a, even a dessert with them, talk with them, hug them. You know, now yeah. you can't do anything. You just say hi from a distance and pretty much have to leave. And even our nana, she was sad. She yeah. said, like, I can't believe this. I can't, like, hug you guys. I know. My mom was texting us after saying our grandma was sad, and that made me sad too. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm just kind of feeling like down because like we don't know what like we don't see when this is gonna end like we can't see in our future yeah. like uh, a date and it's just sad like just life as we know it is like completely different I know and it's just sad but it I mean is. we should just be grateful we that we're together I was saying that even in the yeah. car quickly we can't complain because we have it clearly better than a lot of people of do of course sure. oh my god yeah 
But at the end of the day, it's just It just, just kind of so... makes you miss the way, like, things used to be, how we took it for granted. Yeah, we did. That's the thing. I want to, I miss being able to want to go home and take off my clothes I know, and my pajamas. Like, uh, and now I'm kind of like, that's it's it. It's like Groundhog Day again. Yeah. Here we go. Back home, you know? Yeah. We love to cook and bake so much because it actually gives us It honestly to is therapeutic. My vlogs Definitely. are probably all cooking and baking, but what else, guys? What else can you do at home, you know? It's comfort. Oh, my God. And she's a little baby, too, because I'm a little doggy mom. So I randomly made the best chicken salad sandwich of all time. It's so good. I had leftover chicken that I made for last night's dinner and I just added some mayo, some iceberg lettuce chopped up, some green onions chopped up, slivered almonds, raisins, and a little bit of smoked Havarti, I believe it was, and I mixed it all together and I smeared it on a sandwich with some extra lettuce and a little bit of extra cheese and it is to die for it Guys, so good. this is literally the best chicken salad I've ever tried. <laughs> So it's actually so easy. So if you have a little bit of extra chicken because I really hate the taste of reheated chicken I like to eat it cold. I turned it into a chicken salad sandwich and it is so Good. I saved some extra for Jules and she's not even making a sandwich. She's just eating a chicken salad. Yeah So right now we're making some Aperol spritz guys So what we're doing is we're adding the Aperol to this glass of ice. So just pour the rest of them See? So we're pouring it nicely, that looks delicious. And now we're going to add a little bit of the champagne, well actually we're adding the Prosecco because that's what you need. So pour in the Prosecco. And what you would normally add as well is a little bit of soda water, but we skipped that step because we like ours nice and strong. <laughs> so that looks good, perfect. Thank you babe for pouring the Prosecco. <laughs> looks I'm, beautiful. I'm your hand model. Yes, you're my hand model. <laughs> And as well over here, while he's pouring, I cut some orange wedges because it's very common to have orange wedges or these little strips of the orange peel. This gives it a nice flavor. Rub it around the rim of the glass, pop it in, and then pop in a nice wedge of orange as well. Oh wow, a whole bottle of champagne, right? Yeah. So we finished a whole bottle of the Prosecco and we still have over half of the Aperol left and this is to make three big glasses. Look how nice this looks. So some more wedges. Some more of this. And guys, that's really all it takes to make a beautiful spritz. Look how good that looks. One, two, three. Cheers! Tomorrow is Luna's birthday, so I used my recipe on cookies for you and your dog. And what I also did was, when I separated the batter, I made a few with some cocoa powder. This is for human consumption only. This will be for little Luna. Cocoa powder free, of course. Dogs can't have cocoa powder. No chocolate. So these little extras are for Luna as well as this one or even for us. They're delicious just plain But they're also really good with the chocolate. So I did a couple more I will link my recipe in the description box down below So check it out if you want to make a little treat for your dog. I shaped hers like a bone Because it will look cute for her birthday tomorrow. It's a gloomy day But it's a special day because my little baby Luna was born She's so curious and I hope she never loses her curiosity and I hope she gets more brave with age right Luna you could afford to get a little bit more brave with age. <laughs> She's so sweet. Today my baby is two years old. You're two years old, Luna. Happy birthday. She doesn't understand that it's her birthday because she's so little. Yeah, but it's her birthday today. Are you happy? <laughs> You're so sweet. I made Luna the cookies that she's gonna have her little cookie later when we're all having cake and I'm making her a pavlova. She can't have the pavlova but she can have a little lick of it, right? A little lick of the, of the whipped cream. Yeah, she's my sweetie. It's her birthday, two years old. Two years old, this is a special one. At least the rain will make sure that there's no fireworks because it's the May 2 4 long weekend. And rain means no fireworks so it's perfect for you because we hate fireworks for the doggies. Yeah. You want a treat? Come here. <laughs> okay. Sit. Give me the paw. Give me the paw. Good girl. So cute. Since it's your birthday, you get a huge treat today. <laughs> Go hide it. Go. Go and hide it. Go. <laughs> Look how big it is. It's bigger than she is. <laughs> Only because it's your birthday, Luna. Go for it. <laughs> Happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday to you and Blow many more. Blow it out. Ready? Mm, let's, give her, so let's give her a little lick of the whipped cream. 
Oh, so sweet. A nice look of the whipped cream. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday, Luna. Three, two, one. <gasps> Yay! She's two years old and one for good luck. Good girl. Good girl, Luna. <laughs> good girl, my baby. Yeah, one more little lick, okay. Because you're such a good girl. <laughs> and guys, I made my famous pavlova. So if you want the exact recipe, I'm going to link it in the description box down below. It's the perfect flourless cake and it's so delicious. It is soft meringue, fluffy whipped cream, and these delicious strawberries. Yum. So I have Luna's little treat. <laughs> Breaking off a tiny little piece. Oh, she loves it. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> She's stirring it because you put it in your addict's hands. So oh, she like, thinks this guy's gonna yeah. get away. Give her another little treat. <laughs> Don't bother her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good girl, she loves those treats. Breakfast tacos for Nikita. There's some scrambled eggs, bacon, cheeses, cilantro, which some people don't like, but I love, and so does Nikita. There's some coleslaw and things like that. Bon appetit. Yummy. <laughs> So today for lunch, I made a nice, delicious, healthy salad. This has quinoa, some red kidney beans in it, it has coleslaw, it has some parsley, some green onions, um, just lots of good stuff. Also feta cheese, which makes it delicious. This is a nice meatless summer dish. It's perfect. I'm just going to have a nice big bowl of this for lunch, and that's good for me. Good and healthy. I don't often film healthy food because it doesn't look that exciting, but this actually tastes really good, so I highly recommend it. Another day, another spritz, guys. Last time I had one of these because it's such a huge glass, I feel like I got pretty pretty tipsy. So today I topped it off with a little bit of actually sparkling water. This is the Buble sparkling water, and it's orange flavored, which actually works perfect for a spritz. Yum! So I highly recommend it. And by the way, it's Julia and Addict's anniversary soon on May 26th. It's their eight-year anniversary. Can you believe it? Yeah, it looks sick in so, the picture. I know, it looks really <laughs> nice. So Jules is painting him this picture of Senna because he loves Ayorton Senna. Is that how you say his name? Ayorton Senna, yeah. Ayorton Senna. He is the Formula One race car driver that tragically passed away. So he has a really sad backstory, but he seemed like a very nice person. This is a work in progress. And so Addict is a fan, so Jules is painting away. How stunning is that? Guys, look at what happened to my room. There is a leak in the ceiling. <laughs> At least they found the source of the leak, but who knows when this is getting repaired. So sad, eh? Look how pretty my favorite flowers and my favorite color from my favorite beep. <laughs> I love you. Today I'm ready because we're going to your mom's birthday. Mama Natasha. Today she turns 55, so it's a big one. So we have lots of goodies planned for her. So I'm very excited to see her. So we're here with my mama Natasha. It's her birthday. <laughs> so she's opening her present now. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh my god. Uh, exactly color what I wanted for the sun. And it has a long strap inside. Do you see what's here? Do you see what we did initial? Yes, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I wanted exactly the same color. Oh for good. The sun. I love this color. I, it's my favorite okay, color. Oh my god. So I'm Tibet. I love so, you. So, so, oh you know who wrote this? So, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. She wrote in, Rush. in Russian. <laughs> I tried. You can tell. <laughs> nice. The black caviar. How much is this? Two hundred and twenty-five dollars wow. for this much caviar. Wow, we're gonna have fun today. And this is one of our favorite salads. Even Julia, she loves Olivier. So delicious. Mm. Yes. Holiday. That's your favorite. Yes, <laughs> my favorite food. <laughs> and this is Olivier, our favorite. All these delicious salads. Delicious salad. This yeah. is a uh, cod liver, liver cod fish. Wow. This uh, salad with spinach and shrimps. And shrimps. Beautiful. And like we brought Italian spritz into the Russian house too. <laughs> very delicious. Very, very the Mama successful Hana, so my, far. My favorite aphrodisiac. Yeah, right? <laughs> 101. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> oh, love it. So this is such a beautiful spread. Wow. Look at everything that Mama Natasha prepared today. Oh my god. She worked so hard. I love when Lisa called me Mama Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. Awesome. Ready to eat some caviar? I'm gonna eat my face off. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> 
Вот всегда такой красивый. Английский. Mm -hmm. <laughs> И чтобы дети радовались. На Кирилл Translate. You have to translate. Also, мама Наташа wants a granddaughter. <laughs> Very, very Maybe soon. Grand granddaughter, grandson. Yeah. Everybody. Very, very. Get started, okay? She, she, Let's get started. She, she, she loves. First, first, yeah. Mama Juan, and then a granddad. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much, my children. Aww. I very much love you. We love you. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. But Beautiful. very delicious ice cream. Mm, this looks so good. Amazing. Lisi, more, more chocolate. And for you too. Don't worry, Mom. Please. Mm. I have a lot, don't worry, I have a lot. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> so now we are having duck and roasted apples and cranberries. This looks so good. And here's Tina. Tina. Hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. Lisa, nobody in my love. Did not do me same. Ah. Do, you, do you know that this, this mama? Lisa I had to wrote. write it. <laughs> Lisa wrote. And the heart was hers. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so ah. happy. So guys, we just finished playing Terraforming Mars. It was actually a lot of fun. Nikita ended up winning this one. I think it's because he knew the ground rules a little bit better. Not just because he's a better player. <laughs> Me and Jules ended up actually tying, which is funny because what are the odds of when you end up collecting all of your points after? That's, I think, pretty rare to do. I think you'll really love Terraforming Mars. It's very fun, especially if you're a science geek because they use a lot of science terms. And yeah, we really enjoyed this game a lot, so I highly recommend it. Terraforming Mars, very, very fun. I won Terraforming Mars and Babe is I would rather see one of us win. We won already now twice. I've never won. I won three times. Oh, three times? Nikita won once the first time we ever played. I won three times. And I've come second ever since. So there you go, guys. I have terraformed Mars successfully. I didn't do too bad, though. I got over 100 points. Elon Musk would be proud, right? Maybe you should go date him. <laughs> Get away. Get away. Don't be a sore spot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I owe this victory to my lovely Star Wars shirt that I'm wearing, guys. This helped me seal the deal and win. Good. Second place. I just terraformed Mars again. Nikita's so mad he left. And I came second. Oh my god, babe, look at her. Look at Bella. Oh my god. Let's show Bella on the camera. Okay, wait, we're gonna vlog Bella. This is our little Luna's little cousin, Bella. What's she eating? A sausage. Aww. <laughs> Bella, you're on camera. Oh my god, she's so freaking cute. Guys, Nikita's like, I think I'm gonna win this time. Hey, he's so right cute. Now, just Let me go get him and give him a kiss. <laughs> give me a kiss. Just give me a kiss. I love you. I love you. Shouldn't, I'm not you, my shouldn't you be proud of me that I'm such a good player? <laughs> <laughs> it's my Star Wars shirt. I cannot be beat when I'm wearing this to do. I'm not. I'm not playing that game ever again. <laughs> what? You're not playing? No. no. But you bought it. But you love it. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Come here, <Nikki. laughs> love you. <laughs> love you. Do you want to say congratulations? No. <laughs> the cutest little little baby ever. But who's cuter than him? Cutie's cuter than. Luna gets nervous when we play games because we're always yelling. Okay, so